The Student Research Center at Coburg University of Applied Sciences and Arts. Here, senior high school students have the opportunity to learn about practical research and scientific methodology under professional guidance. The school's cyclotron Columbus is the result of a joint project between the University of Coburg, the Jülich Research Center, and the Anastinum High School in Coburg. Students built the school cyclotron outside the actual physics curriculum with scientists from the university and their physics teacher. Since its completion, they have been conducting their own experiments with it. I got to know the cyclotron project through the Student Research Center in Upper Franconia. We took part in a workshop where we actively used the cyclotron. I hadn't even heard the term cyclotron before since it's rarely used in school and you don't learn about it. That's what I enjoyed most, the fact that you could learn new things. The cyclotron consists of a vacuum chamber measuring 150 millimeters in diameter, an electromagnet, an accelerator system, and an ion source. High vacuum conditions of 10 to the power of minus six millibar are reached in the vacuum chamber. Students can research physical processes in the cyclotron through the movement of charged particles in electric and magnetic fields, and also learn about practical applications as well. The movement of particles can be observed during beam operation itself, due to the low ultimate energy of the school cyclotron. Students learn the scientific basis and background firsthand from lecturers at Coburg University. It's such a complex device that only a few universities and research institutes can run an accelerator like this. That's why hardly any students have seen a cyclotron, let alone conduct experiments with one. The Columbus Project steps into the gap here and lets students not only analyze the movement of charged particles in electric and magnetic fields, but also learn about accelerator physics and even conduct their own experiments. FIFA Vacuum has been sponsoring the project since its inception. Experts from the company advised the project group right from the design and concept stage. Pfeiffer Vacuum also provided the team with a high-cube eco-turbo pumping station. This is important for generating the vacuum that is needed. The pumping station consists of a high-pace 80 type turbo pump and an MVP dry membrane backing pump. To measure the pressure, the pumping station contains a Pirani gauge and an ionization vacuum gauge. A Faraday cup from Pfeiffer Vacuum is used as a detector to measure the accelerated protons. On a visit to the Student Research Center, FIFA Vacuum sales manager Arno Kalbus learned about the school cyclotron as well as how FIFA Vacuum products are used there. Promoting career starters in research has always been enormously important for FIFA Vacuum. That's why we sponsor promising research projects and special campaigns that encourage interest in science among young people. The Columbus Project is a prime example of how to successfully encourage young researchers. The Pfeiffer vacuum expert answered the project team's technical questions during his visit. Dr. Jutta Michel, the university vice president, told him more about the Student Research Center and about other ways how Pfeiffer vacuum can help the university to promote the scientists of tomorrow. We are grateful to companies like yours that support us in offering a program such as this. Students learn the theory in the classroom. That's all part of classic teaching. But to actually see it in action here is very interesting for our students. They can learn a lot about technology and theory, which is why we're very proud to make something like this possible with the support of companies.